Demeanor. Oh yeah. Like an R Demeanor finger movement. This is a finger from the Inmu robot. Oh cool. Oh, you said you're working on that. A life-size printable robot. Oh cool. I printed out the oh. neck bone. Where, where do you find it online? Um, Thingiverse. Thingiverse. Just search for InMove. Double In M double Man, O B. This is a lot of plastic, though, huh? Oh yeah, that was about um, 15 hours to print. Yeah, but how much plastic too? It's going to be expensive by the time you're done, isn't it? I'm, I'm done printing. I think I spent about 30 or 40 dollars in plastic. That's all. Probably more in electric than I did in plastic. And you printed all of the parts already? Well, as many as are available. It's from here up. Oh, she cool. She hasn't gotten the, the uh, feet or the legs yet. In the... Is, in this, the... is this a Kickstarter too? No. It's just uh, somebody's design? And what, what is this? That's the uh, chest. Oh. And what's it going to do? Is there a movement in there? Not here. No, this supports the uh, the shoulders and the head. Okay. Okay. When are we going to see the rest of it? As soon as I get some time to build it. I finished <laughs> printing it. Oh. I just have to build it. Okay. You can see each part is small uh -huh. and interlocking like a puzzle. Oh. And so it can fit on most printers. Oh. Oh. One of my biggest pieces here. And this is two pieces, you see. Nice. So you had, let's show me what you had to do. So you printed it out. And to make, to join this to that, I had to uh -huh. trim. Okay. I had to trim a lot of pieces in here just to, so it would join. I see. And sand then, and trim and sand and trim, but still it's a little bit off. And then do you seal it? Do you glue it? Yeah, that's, um. Epoxy? No, 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 no. Nail polish remover, what do they call it? Oh, acrylic, um, like, yeah, it's nail polish remover. That's yes. Acetone. Acetone, no, that, it, it glues with acetone. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I just take some acetone. Where? To smooth it out? Yeah, you take an acetone in a, in a, in a nice rag. Don't uh -huh. use paper, anything paper. Just use a rag. Uh -huh. And you, you, you get the acetone on the rag and you just rub it a little bit. And it smooths it out. But you don't want to rub too hard because it will dig into it. Right. But you That's can rub it and you can, it'll melt it and it'll take the burrs off. Oh, cool. cool. That's good to know. Sandpaper. Yeah, well, I have sandpaper. I have something that's that's really rough and made out of. Uh, I've been trying with sandpaper, but acetone sounds a lot easier. Sandpaper's a mess. Well, the acetone. What the acetone will do is it'll it'll embed in the plastic and it'll make it shiny. But it, you can remove all these little burrs and stuff. Okay. Some people dip it in a bucket of acid. Yeah. So Diego has some pieces that he did with that. Now, what do you uh, what setting do you use for your printer when you print it? Default. Huh? Default. Default, whatever it is. 30 percent okay. fill. Thirty percent fill. Okay. So in fact, Thomas, tell me a little bit about the expo. Well, at the expo, we bring together robot builders from all over Southern California and extended areas. Did the Lost in Space robot ever come? Oh, you want to know what robots? Yeah, what robots? Tell me what robots are Yes, okay. we had R2D2, the full size R2D2, the Lost in Space robot. Okay, uh huh. We had Wally last year. Uh huh. We had Maya last year. Your little robot? <laughs> my little robot, but she builds her own robots. Nice. Very cool. What's that? An ostrich. What's it called? An ostrich. An ostrich. Oh, I see that. I see that. Very cool. Nice going. And she built it herself. She's, right. she's the youngest member of our club. Right. And you, you're working on the in-move robot now. And so we are seeing a lot of parts. And apparently it's... How much does it... You kind of mentioned it a while ago how much you expect this to cost by the time you're done. Uh, in plastic, less than $50. Less than $50 in plastic. What about the electronics and stuff like that? Um, the, the motor is probably 200 motors. Really? So it's not really that bad? I'm sorry? It's not really that much then. I mean, like, no. $300. Oh, okay. That's kind of awesome. I guess when you add up all that together, it's under $500. But the time, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. This piece took uh, about five hours to print. Right. So people always ask me how much time things take to print because I do a lot of videos on um, 
3D printed. So this one took about five hours. And tell me another one. This part. This is. These are four. These are two parts together. Two parts uh -huh. glued together at the center. Each right. one took about two and a half hours. Okay. And tell me what type of 3D printer you have. Uh, this is a solid doodle. Solid doodle. And I know you've had some. A little trouble with it. Yeah. A little trouble, right? Um, but. That got all worked out. I think I understand we when replaced the part, yeah. you had to replace some parts and get somebody some to parts, help you. Yes. Uh, Steve, then they, Steve was not here. Right help you get everything going, right? Uh -huh. So that's uh, yeah, that was the experience. I don't know. Would you buy from Solid Doodle again? I'd that's have to it. think about it. You think about it, okay?